so many potions and myriad powers and potencies. What might serve to further harden the captain's er, resolve? Ugh. Probably was just shopping for single presents for my captain. Never the tales of the long haft, I presume. <laughs> Naturally endowed with both size and stamina. <laughs> Alchemical innovation might enhance his already prodigious talents. Do any of these files intrigue you, adventurer? Ruby. I'll give her Ruby then. Which stood out to me as well. Red is, after all, the color of passion. <laughs> More passionate than my captain. Red is his favorite hue. <laughs> of course. The other one's gonna ask me a color-based question too, and her name is Sapphire Eyes, so it'll be blue probably. Also, the color of my eyes. He's often praised their beauty during our nights together in the control room at High Bridge, where he often summons me to lubricate the lure. <laughs> Says my supple fingers are most suited to the task. Jesus, this quest. In the past, the captain shunned alchemy in all its forms, claiming he had no need for unnatural enhancements. Recently, however, I remarked that his blade, already renowned across Eorzea, might reach legendary stature with the right help. He seems suitably aroused by the end here. <laughs> god. Oh my god. As if we must be getting back, just imagine the captain alone with her. <laughs> it is enough to send shivers up my tail. Jeez, <laughs> this, this fucking quest, man. Uh, what was it, Weaver? No, he's at the Weaver. He's at Goldsmith? Yeah. Ataja Sapphire Eyes. First earring I saw would look lovely on my captain, but so would that other one. Why does shopping have to be so goddamn difficult? Well, it's a scary like that. I'm a brass blade in service to Captain Hunberg. Better known as Hunberg Longhaft. No doubt you've heard the tales. <laughs> None can deny the captain cuts a dashing figure, but I would give him a gift to further bring out his beauty. Let's say you do any of these fine ornaments catch your eye. Sapphire earring. I thought the same myself. Some find sapphires cold, but they do not understand that beneath this cool exterior sleeps a wellspring of passion as deep as the ocean. <laughs> Passion tempered by maturity and reason. Not coincidentally, it is also the color of my eyes. Yep. As often admired during late nights manning the control room at High Bridge as I stroked the lever and admired its handiwork, its workmanship. <laughs> there are those of the brass blades who do not understand the captain. Those who say his exploits on the battlefield do not warrant the sizable reputation he has amassed. I know not which battlefield they speak of, but as someone who has witnessed his sword play firsthand, I can assure you that the reality far exceeds even the tallest of tales. To give the captain more video around, must deliver my gift before Alamui does, lest she be the one invited to work the lever tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is like one of the best worded uh, quests ever. Hi, girls. <laughs> the mere suggestion that our captain partake in alchemical enhancements is an insult, not merely to him, but to the gods that endowed him with such natural talent. <laughs> ah, says the one who would see him adorn his body with gaudy trinkets. Do you even understand the true measure of a man? I'm grateful, witch. You're not worthy to polish the captain's blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these girls. This is the best quest of the entire game, and it's not even required. Oh. 
After you always praise the way I calibrate your lover, you called me an engineer. After you said that no machinist in the realm could keep your parts oiled as I do. Cease the senseless bickering to both of you. You each have served me long and served me hard. Surely you realize by now that there is more than enough man to go around. While I welcome your sentiments, I have no need of shiny bubbles or motley brews. Gods have seen fit to endow me well. I would fight my battles on my own merits. Besides, there are more important matters at hand. Before you two came in, I had just been informed that my garments were ready. Prepare yourselves. Uh-oh. <laughs> so form-fitting. Feel the flames of passion welling from within. You promise you'll wear that the next time you summon me to the control room, yes? For you, my love, anything, but we have only just begun. What's the blue part gonna be? Huh? Let's say you, Alamu. Uh, I'm bursting forth those bulging biceps. My captain, this garment shows you for the god of virility that you are. My only regret is that I cannot quite see under the belt. <laughs> All in good time, my love. Down easy. More than enough man here for it. No, unworked is no mere man, for within me rages a beast. A beast that will be contained no longer. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! You know, this furred snow creature is legendary for its stamina and the sheer size of its manhood. Now tell me, ladies, what would you like for Starlight this year? <laughs> you, my captain, and nothing but you. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. But I thought you'd say. Now, if you've gotten over your silly little cat fight, I believe it's time we went on our way. As we speak, bandits and brigands would target innocent merchants who travel through Highbridge. Fear not, ladies, there will be time enough for pleasure when the battles have been won. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh my god. If you thought being the long half was all about sweet pleasure and bliss, you'd be wrong. Prone to about to sibling jealousy, those two, but they're good girls at heart, all the more admirable considering their origins. Stolen from their parents and their babes and sold into a trade where no woman deserves it. Uh, great. You had to get serious? Game, really. Found and freed them, but sadly the brass blades are not in the habit of taking in children. <clears throat> and their freedom, they made their living on the streets, where many turned to selling their bodies, they honed their smarts and their fighting skills. When they returned to me years later as women grown strong and beautiful, I swore that I would have them in my regiment, that is. <laughs> sure. That they know how to properly sheath my blade is an extra benefit. <laughs> I'll be the most welcome one. Jesus, it was that. It was just... Odd, this quest. <laughs> 